Dear future Brandon, if you ever forget how to connect a Step 7 program into a TIA portal HMI, this is how you do it. So first off, I have my Step 7 running here with a little simple program. I have a button. I want to be my HMI button that's going to turn on a physical light. And then I have a sensor also attached to my PLC. It's going to turn on an indicator on my HMI. Real simple. So how do I have this talk to a TIA portal HMI? So the first thing I want to do is save this guy and make sure everything else I want to reference is saved as well. Then I want to go over to TIA portal. In this case, I'm using TIA portal 17 because I want it to be as relevant as possible for as long as possible. So anyways, I want to hit new. I'm going to go to, let's just say YouTube is going to be the project. Stick that. Uh, let's just say under the D drive, uh, YouTube, I, again, I suppose, and let's use this name instead. Uh, great. Okay. So here I have just an empty TIA-17 uh, program. So what I'm going to do is add a device. And so the HMI that I have is a basic 7-inch, super basic, 2GB03. So this guy right there. Okay. All right, so this is just some basic stuff you can uh, set your HMI up with. It's going to ask you, like, hey, what PC do you want to use if it's like a PLC in this project? But it's not. So we're just going to leave all the basic stuff as is and just hit finish so we have the default, if you will. It's going to go ahead and generate that HMI. There it is. Very cool. And so now we need to add the PLC to it. So we're going to add another device up here. We're going to go to controllers. Uh, However, like we have a 300 and we could add like a 300 CPU to this program. But since our program is in step seven and not in portal, which seems silly, but some customers do it that way. Let's go to device proxy right there, that guy. And it's a whole bunch of X's. So, okay. That's going to go ahead and create the proxy PLC for us. There it is. Very cool. Now the next step is we need to point this proxy PLC to our steps of program. So we're going to go to initialize device proxy and we're going to go up to our program here, our YouTube program, which in this case is automation step seven project YouTube. We're going to scroll down and find the S7P uh, file. Hit open. Cool. So it's going to initialize that. And we want to import the PLC tags and the blocks. Hit OK. All right. So that was successful. OK. So there we are. It pulled in all the relevant data for itself to know what it's working with. Uh, we can go to tags, but we can't like open it. We can see what blocks are there, but we can't really open those either. But don't worry, we'll we'll get there. So we want to go to our back to our screen. Go down here back to our root screen. What we're going to do is we're going to add a simple button button here. We should call this guy the light button. Go on properties, real simple events. Add a button, add a, add a bits, set key wall pressed, and we're going to go to the tag itself, and we're going to go up here to our proxy, and we're going to say in the blocks, I use dbhmi, so we're going to click on that guy, and there's the stuff. So this guy is the button, okay? Hit good. Fills it in, perfect. Now we're going to go make a indicator. So I'm just going to grab a circle, drop that there, Go to animations and display. We're going to add new animation, uh, appearance. So this guy's going to be linked to sensor. And zero will be gray and or blue, whatever. And one will be green. Very cool. So we're just going to save, compile, and then download our program to our HMI. So this is going to reference uh, what connection we do in PNIE, which uh, Card are we going through? Not my wireless, so I want my wired. I'm gonna go for a direct slot one. That's fine. So search. There really is only one Ethernet port on, on the device. It okay, found it. Very cool. So click that guy and hit load. All right, we're gonna hit overwrite all here. There also may be a fit button here as well. Click that one too. Load. So it's loaded to the HMI. So now when you see I press the button on the HMI, the light comes on. And if I put my hand in front of the sensor, the indicator comes on as well. Very cool. That's about all there is to it. Okay, thanks. Bye.